So, welcome back to Dr. Janet's Science Planet unboxing of this sound kit from Science Whiz, developed by Dr. Penny Norman. Now, I'd like to get to you, give you a close-up of this sound kit, uh, particularly the book. So you can see here the book on sound. Um, has a nice picture of Edison in the right prominently in the front. It has a pretty exhaustive ta table of contents, which I appreciate. It gives you all sorts of information on um, what sound is, uh, the various states of matter that you can put sound through, what sound waves do and what they are, volume of sound, so it talks about things being louder and softer, musical instruments, so you actually get to design some sort of musical instruments, uh, waves, so the idea of sound waves, and of course sound waves are compression waves as opposed to longitudinal waves, and it gets into that in this book. Uh, recording and vibration, and then the speed of sound, so it talks about lots of different things. So you can see there's nice full color illustrations in the book, and demonstrations on how to do various activities in the book. And then when you get toward the back, there's an entire section that is, of course, instructions on how to make the Edison style, style phonograph that's included in this kit. And that was one of the big draws for me. I've been wanting to build an Edison style phonograph for a very long time. So to find this kit was, was very exciting for me. So when you first get the kit, you can actually remove the book from the holder you can see that there's actually a flap here where the cover of the book fits. Um, so the book actually comes out from the cover of the box, but I'm going to actually leave it in there. It's easy to lose that book if, you don't, if you're not careful. And then all of the components are actually boxed inside. So I'm going to take the tape off here. So let me actually remove the components from the box. As you can see, there's a separate inner box here. There we are. And we can put this box, the outer box, off to the side and concentrate on the inner box. Included in this kit are a bag of components that as you can see here have been fastened down to the bottom of the box, a megaphone and a cone, and several components for the Edison phonograph all packed in together. So what you're going to need to do is untape and untwirl. Then you can pull that component bag out. Now the component bag includes not only items for the activities, but also includes some of the components for the phonograph itself. So things like screws, uh, the record needle, this blue diaphragm, that will be important later, that's actually one of the sound recording diaphragms. Um, that actually is the one that you see in the actual Science Whiz video when they build the kit themselves. There is also, within the kit, a metal copper diaphragm, but so far our results have shown this blue diaphragm to get a better result. So in the booklet itself, the instructions. In the instructions it actually has you building the component with the copper diaphragm. We haven't had as much luck with that so far. So keep good track of this blue plastic recording diaphragm. That's important. There's also several little screws in inner bags. One of the things that we've done is taken small cups 
to put those in. So I'm going to take this bag of components and move it over here for now. Excuse me. There's also included in the kit a megaphone, and that's been taped and fastened down on one of the other sides of the box. Well, on the one hand, I do appreciate the need for fastening down components and boxes that have a clear window. On the other hand, it does make them more difficult to get into. But it does keep the components from, from moving around. So let's undo that strap. And pull the megaphone out. Now you notice inside the megaphone is actually a piece of paper to make a funnel. You're going to need to cut that piece of paper where it says with the scissors and then actually form it into a cone. So this piece of paper is going to form the recording cone. On the device itself. So you can see this, when it's cut, will roll up and form that. Put these components off over to the side. There we go. So now I'm going to take out some other components. You notice that the phonograph base itself has some of the components inside it to save space, but these ones are also fastened down very tightly with these windy things scientific term there, windy thing. And you can also see that there's this yellow tube that's for one of the activities and that's actually been fastened down to itself with plastic zip ties. So you'll need a pair of scissors to cut that open. I haven't actually done that with my other kit yet, but that's what you'll need. And you'll need a strong pair of scissors because it's a fairly thick zip tie there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that off to the side. Now, a lot of these components, if you're just interested in building the Edison-style phonograph, you can stay, leave off to the side. They're fun to, to work with, to try. Uh, but what I was mostly interested in, obviously, was the Edison-style phonograph. So let's take that component part out. put this away. For the next part, we're going to take a look at the components found inside the phonograph case. Stay tuned. <laughs> 